The Taste of the Danforth is making a much anticipated comeback after a three year long hiatus. Now, year one and two, COVID 19 played spoil sport and it was canceled because of safety concerns. But last year, it was canceled due to somewhat of a conflict with the city's Cafe TO program. Now to refresh your memories, Cafe TO is a City of Toronto initiative that allows restaurants to extend their patios out onto the road. That was to help businesses that were struggling due to the COVID-19 restrictions on indoor dining. That program has now become permanent, plus bike lanes were put in place, which adds to the challenges of running a street festival. So last year, the BIA said they didn't have enough time to adapt to the reduced space. This year, those hurdles have been overcome with the help of event planners and the executive director tells me the festival has been reimagined. Many people will uh, um, experience the same things that they've always loved about the festival and then there'll be some new things that are uh, new to the festival this year. But the reimagined piece really speaks to how we coexist with some of the infrastructure that currently exists in the road that didn't exist uh, in 2019 when we last did this festival. The bike infrastructure, the Cafe Tio patios that are in the road. I mean, there's something for everybody. Obviously, there's the favorites that many people have come to love over the years, the souvlaki, the gyros, obviously the spanakopita, the tiropita, the honey balls for anyone with a sweet tooth. But then we have so many other um, cuisines and cultures that have moved into the area in the uh, last three years so that you can really travel the world uh, this weekend here in Greektown. And a reminder that the Danforth will be closed from Broadview to Jones starting at 10 a.m. on Friday through till 3 a.m. Monday morning. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.